Hi and welcome to Tabletop Gaming. My name is Charlie and today I am very excited because we're going to take a look at Pokemon. Now, I have always wanted to get more involved with the Pokemon trading card game, having played Battle Academy as my first foray into the trading card side of things, but having always played the video games in various formats over the years um, and in childhood obviously watching the cartoon because who didn't? But this feels now like my opportunity to actually dive head first in. Um, I'm definitely not the Pokemon expert on the team, but there's no reason why there can't be more than one. So so, currently, I know little to nothing about Pokemon. I don't know what cards are going to be good. I don't know the difference between shiny and holographic. I presume I will when I see it, but I'm not sure. So this is very much starting at zero. I know little to nothing. I have a vague idea, um, but nothing more than that. So please, in the comments, pop me any recommendations you have for stuff that I should be doing. Um, let me know if I've got anything cool with the stuff that we do today, if I should be aware of something. I imagine I'm going to get things wrong. Please be nice about it, but pop it in the comments if I have, um, and let me know what the right thing is, or what I should be looking at, or what I should be knowing about. Now, I have purchased my first big set of Pokemon. Um, I bought it from Total Cards, who were great. They gave me a free sticker as well. Thanks ever so much for that. Um, and this is... Are you ready? Are you ready? I have bought the Shining Fates Elite Trainer Box. Now, I will be honest, this was not out of any sort of knowledge of what's good or bad. This was out of the fact that it had an Eevee on the front because yes, I am that person. I'm easily taken in by cool things and to me an Eevee is cool. So there are plenty to choose from in all of the revolutions, which is why I like them so much. Um, so this seemed like a really good start. Now, actually, as for what's inside, there is a lot. I imagine if you're watching this, you'll probably know more than I do, um, but I thought we'd go through it today as to what's inside, what the cool things are, or what I think the cool things are, and you'll probably tell me otherwise, um, and just have a look and see. Okay, so this, our sleeve, has been removed. Okay. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, so the inside of here has got artwork in it as well. It's very difficult to show you actually because it's sort of angled, but you can see that actually even the inside of the sleeve is artwork. So that's really nice. That doesn't happen very often. Um, we also have a player's guide. Oh, okay. Now the question is, is this going to be a beginner's guide because I'm an idiot or is this going to tell me more about the cards that are in there? Tell me more about the cards that are in there. Okay, that makes way more sense. Just to give you an idea. These are the sort of things that are inside. And it's quite thick. That's quite impressive. And it's a nice um, feel of card, like it's a high quality one. And then we have the box itself. So this is like a like a faux leathery style. Um, it's sort of more textured actually, it's probably a better way of putting it. Um, and we have the same on both sides, but it's quite nice that it's got this dip. I quite like that. And are you ready? It's time for liftoff. What do we get? Da, 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 da. Ah. Okay, paper inserts. Which is less exciting than I'd hoped for, I'd be honest. But hey, let's not let's not be picky. So if I pull out said paper insert, which has got the nice black and gold theme carrying on through, thanks ever so much. And um, that leaves me with a lot of cards. Yay! So they all sit quite nicely in here. Now one of the things that I loved about this, and that I am going to try and see if I can pick that straight away, is that these come with card sleeves. So I can immediately sleeve these, post the video because you don't need to see me doing that. Or do you? Is that a video you want to see? Let me know. Um, but those are all going to be included within those. And we have the really cool background on there, which I absolutely love. So I've got 65 of those, so it says on the back here, which hopefully will be enough for my super epic ones. I've got my usual Pokemon code, that's very cool. And my goodness, it's like it's difficult to know where to start. I feel like I want to start with all the filler stuff. So speaking of filler, these are little file dividers. So presumably, once I've got everything in place and where I want it to be, I can then set it up as I should do. So, oh, I picked out an exciting one without meaning to. I thought I was picking up something else. We have the Eevee VMAX, which doesn't show up too well on camera, but is beautiful. Who doesn't love an Eevee? Follow up question, favorite Pokemon in the comments, please. And yes, I will judge you by how cool they are or what I deem to be how cool they are. Um, you are probably already cringing that Eevees are my favorite, I would imagine, um, but I I just do, I just like them, sorry. Right, these appear to be, are these just energy cards? These are indeed just energy cards. Then we have Pokemon trading card game rules. Okay, thank you. So I feel like this is one with all games, play don't show is better 
um, but there are some rules there for me to refer to hopefully um, so if we start playing and I've got no idea what's going on at least I've got something I mean let's be honest I'm probably gonna google it but the option is there they're not leaving me alone I've got choices so last two exciting bits before we move on to the actual cards themselves are uh, we've got some little dice bits so we've got seven dice in there and they look quite cute and we also have some markers as well fabulous so they're just like the nice little extras and they feel really nice as well in the sense that like actually they're tactile they're part of the game they're tactile and they work really well so last in the box then is these look at all of those oh i'm so excited there are so many okay so let us take a look now i have watched quite a few unboxings i will tell you as i open this and um, and a lot of people open the packets and then they shuffle the cards in a certain way so that the exciting one is at the back i don't know how to do that i don't know what the the order is or the way in which i should shuffle them um so we'll just go through nice and quickly as to what i've got in each one pop that one down there have a look and see if I can guess. I mean, I guess it would be that way because that one's interesting. So, because there's so many, I'm just going to give you a quick glimpse of each one. The difficulty is I can't really provide commentary over this because I don't really know what they are. So, we'll just play some delightful music for you in the background um, and then hopefully you can let me know if there's something cool in there. So, we have. Any good? Who knows? Let's do some more. I can see why people love doing this because it's just delightfully fun. Right, so this one. Okay, so I recognise a chunk of them, which is helpful. Most particularly coughing, which I'm really excited to have. Um, and then a really fancy looking one. Where'd he go? Tropia, who I don't recognise but he looked quite cool. So excited to check him out. Right, Ooh. this is the nice thing is that like actually going through them, I'm really excited to have a proper look at them and to enjoy the artwork, but there's more to open. This is like Christmas, but better, arguably better. Evie. Ah. Still more to go. Okay, so. I just want to interrupt to say that I think this one looks really cool. This is exciting to see because I have this Pokemon in my team in my Pokemon Go in Sword. Final two. <laughs> this is the last set. Like, so I don't know whether like I'm feeling good about this. I don't know if I am. I'm just really excited all around. But this is the last set. So fingers crossed that when you comment for me, you can tell me there's something extra cool in this one. Um, but I have to admit, as going through the other ones, I'm a bit like, oh, I really like that one. I hope that one's a good one. And we end on this one. So with that, 
I mean, my first impressions, as again, somebody that doesn't know the trading card game, um, is that there are some really cool ones in here. There are a couple of Pokemon that I don't recognise, which isn't too surprising, um, but there are a lot that I do. Um, so the most recent game I played is Sword. It was quite nice to see things like the Sword in there, um, some of the starter Pokemon in there, some of the ones I'm most familiar with that I've been playing with most recently um, is really nice to see. Um, the shiny ones, I've noticed there are differences. So the, there's a different type of cover on ones to other ones, and then some of them only in the picture and some of them only in the others. I don't know what the difference is as yet as to what those are or what those are named um, but I'm excited to find out. I've got some normal ones with the same as the ones I've got flashy ones so presumably I keep the flashy ones and not the normal ones. I don't know. What's your advice? What would you tell me to do? Ultimately please welcome me into your trading card community um, let me know what I should be doing and um, are there specific sets I should buy? Are there certain things I should be looking for? Um, I would love to hear from you. I'm really really excited. I know nothing and I bow to your wisdom um, so please do let me know. So drop those in the comments. I'm so excited to hear from you. Um, if you would like anything more tabletop gaming with people that do know what they're talking about head to tabletopgaming.co.uk um, or check out some of the other videos in terms of things like unboxings, we look at reviews, we'll give you some features, we've got some cool stuff coming up as well so be sure to like and subscribe. Um, as ever thank you so much for watching, um, join me on my Pokemon journey and have a great day!